What's up everybody, welcome back to the Fit to Play Games channel. My name is Ace and today we are going to take a closer look at modern icon statues of Kratos and Atreus from the God of War franchise. But before we get into the details and features of these statues, guys, if this is a video you enjoyed, then please give this one a thumbs up because this allows my videos to compete with the YouTube algorithm. As well as if this is your first time here, then consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and check out the details on these modern icon statues. Now, we all know that Kratos and Atreus from the God of War franchise are on a legendary status. Now, let's go ahead and check out if these modern icons are also on the same status as the legends themselves. So let's go ahead and start off with Atreus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get them out of the box so we can all take a look and how they all work. Okay, so first off on Atreus, now I just want to point this out, Modern Icon is not kidding around. They actually have some weight on this thing, you know, just to keep them nice and balanced wherever they're standing, wherever they're being displayed. And the details, let's check out the details on Atreus right here. Um, it looks fantastic actually, with his famous bow. arrow and the details on the clothing it looks exactly like him the snow on the ground kind of depicts their environment the tattoos on his arm which pretty much um, where he gathers his energy to fire some magical arrows to assist his dad Kratos whenever they are going on a journey I actually like the look of these statues and the hefty feeling this is at least about, I wouldn't say it's a pound, but maybe 75% of a pound. But I know for a fact that Kratos is a little bit more heavier, but um, I believe that there is a position for them to, you know, um, link together. But before we link them together, we're going to take a look at Kratos next. So, Kratos right here. This guy never changes. I swear, Kratos is always that one scary dude that you don't want to mess with. But you know, he's got his legendary axe. Um, he's got his shoulder um, shoulder guards over here. It looks pretty cool with his le legendary tattoos. Um, I just he does have his scar right there from all of his battles since um, God of War 1 from the PlayStation 2. Uh, the details on his costume as well. Uh, we all know that Kratos used to rock showing his um, glutes and powerful legs during his time as the uh, ghost of Sparta but he's wearing his pants now and you know it still has wonderful details including the animal furs that he carries pouches um, the magical dust or that he carries in um, the God of War series for the PlayStation 4 that yeah, actually looks amazing and it's heavier than Atreus as it should um, also I want to point out this little scar right here. This is where um, Zeus actually stabbed Kratos uh, in God of War 2. So if you guys played the entire series, you would know what I'm talking about. But um, I guess they didn't leave out any type of details. I just wish it kind of showed in the back a little bit because the Sword of Olympus really pierced through <laughs> Kratos there in God of War 2. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hefty. I would say this one would be at least a pound, 
and a half. And uh, there's a position that they're, yeah, so. This is the position they would look to link. It's like a magnet. There you go. Let's, um, let's show you guys what this actually looks like together. So there you have it guys, that is the unboxing and reviewing of modern icon statues of Kratos and Atreus. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as well as if this is your first time coming to my channel and you've seen this video for the first time and you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider hitting that subscribe button because that certainly helps the channel grow. Until then, I'll see you on my next video. Later.